In the previous video, I said to send me your 3D models and I will fix them in Blender. Well, one of you sent me a game asset made in Blender, but it has a problem in Unity instead. So I decided to fix that, because I see that this Tuesday I will post a video fixing your problems. Let's take a look at the penguin game asset, which was sent to me by Sparkly David. His problem is, in Blender it looks fine, but if you put this penguin in Unity, it will have a visible white line on its back. Ok, so here I put your penguin model in Unity and it does have that white line on its back when I move the camera further away. It also has a black line on the front which is harder to notice. Usually this kind of thing happens because of a texture or bad UV map. So let's select the penguin texture. By default Unity enables generate MIP maps. MIP maps can speed up rendering operations and reduce rendering artifacts to make things look smoother and nicer in the distance, not so aliased or pixelated. But generating MIP maps adds around 33% extra memory for that texture, so it depends on your needs if you use it or not. What MIP maps does is generate a bunch of lower resolution copies of your original texture. So every texture is smaller and smaller in size. When the camera is close to the penguin, Unity will use the original texture. But when you move the camera further, it will switch to a lower resolution texture based on distance. When the texture is resized to a much lower resolution, it makes those parts where the different color pixels meet average color. So if the penguin is black, and the textured background has a lighter color, pixels in between will use the average gray color value. That's why you see a lighter color line on the back of a penguin where the UV map seam is. And that's why you need to add more space around your UV islands in the UV map. You can fix this problem in two ways. The first and easiest way is to disable generate MIP maps. As you can see, the white line is gone, because Unity always uses your original texture no matter how far the camera is. And luckily, in your case, the penguin looks good from a close and far distance without MIP maps. The second way to fix it is to leave generate MIP maps on and improve the texture itself. Here I have your penguin texture inside Affinity Photo. This UV map island is on the very edge of the penguin texture. The background has a lighter, different color, which makes it a problem when generated MIP maps downscale the texture size. To show how it works, I scaled the texture from 1K to 64x64. You can see how pixels around the penguin texture changed color inside the UV island and became lighter color. This makes that white line appear in Unity. One of the ways to fix it is to make the background the same color as the penguin and at the parts where it's white and orange, paint around with a brush to add more thickness around the UV islands. Now if I scale the texture down to 64x64 as a mip map example, the pixel color will stay the same inside the UV islands. Let's import the fixed texture to Unity leave generate MIP maps on, apply the new texture to the material, see, it doesn't have that white line even while using MIP maps. So those are my two ways of fixing this texture sim problem in Unity. It depends on you if you will use MIP maps or not. You can test it with and without MIP maps in the game build and see what looks the best at full screen on the bigger monitor. Usually, texture artifacts are more noticeable on big objects like terrain and buildings in the distance. And in your case, you might get away without MIP maps. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.